Hello guys, today we are doing top drives. Let's go. All right, so um, we're gonna just purchase some slots today. All right, and then I think we're gonna do also uh, some quick fusions. All right, see so you guys hanging around with me. Just wanna show you what I do with my gold. All right, so the last, um, the last run we had on top drives, these are some of the cars that I picked up. You know, just uh, messing around, money farming, and um, running around and whatnot. All right, um, and uh, we, we did the tournament. So on um, the next video, I'm going to show you what we won from the tournament. All right, now I messed up. Here I go purchasing the slots. Now I messed up on the um, on there. So there you go, five slots added. All right, I'm just going to go back through and um, add, add a few cars on here. And um, <coughs> sorry, I got to clear my throat add a few cars that I'm going to use for the fusion. Um, so I kind of messed up. I didn't I didn't bother going back. I, you know, we placed pretty high. Actually, we placed eighth place, which was you, not number one. But, um, you know, from my experience, what I like to do is just, um, if I'm in the top 10, I like to just sit there and don't challenge the guys above me. Because top get into the top 10 or close to the top 10 is, um, excuse me, is, uh, you know, good enough, you know. Oh, what's going on? I'm burping a lot now. All right, so I'm gonna go in here and I think we're gonna upgrade the chassis on this car here because the money, you have 18,000, but it goes pretty quick when you have like 50 cars in your garage, you know, so the money doesn't spread out too much. All right, so I'm gonna cut away here and do a little quick edit and get back to the car specifically that I plan on fusing. Here we go, I did grab the prelude. And the way I like to do it, guys, um. For me, just like how it lays out engine, which is going to give you better zero to 60 weight reduction, which actually helps the engine and the chassis as far as handling and um, giving you a better zero to 60 in the middle. So what I, what I like to do is um, I like to use the, I don't, it doesn't make a difference, but I like to use the, um, the fastest car zero to 60 first. And then it, it, sometimes it doesn't make a difference in the middle as far as you know what car you get caught with in the middle but then in the middle maybe the, the lower weight car and then for the last one definitely the car with the higher grip well it's just my little superstition but i don't think it makes a difference in the fusion you know I, I don't think it gives you a better fusion or a better edge over anybody else it's just the way i like to do it so here i am um, gonna I'm trying to clean out the garage so i had before a forester a older model Forester. So this is the 2002 Forester. Let's see if we get a chance to check it out. Um, this is the 2002 Forester. I think I, it was like a 97 we're OC right now. And um, let's see if we see it, if it pops up here. It probably won't because I think I'm right where the, at the cars I need to fuse. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to try to replace those cars because this car is ranked a little bit higher than the other ones that I have so I'm going to go ahead and spend the money and the, the other ones are pretty much upgraded already is, is why I'm going through this so here we go the better zero to 60 you can see what one 7.4 7 seconds that one was the lightweight and that one had the better as it was like both of them had the same um what you what you might call it but same handling 75 but I figure I just put the one that was lighter in the middle um no, so I'm going the opposite direction. But pretty much what I'm trying to do is, um, so I think I'm going to go add a few more cars for well, some more fusion. And right here, I am, um, oh, actually, this is going to lead to the next video. Here, I'm going to compare this Ranger to another Ranger, which I have. I guess one is American and one is European. And, um, but they're rated differently. So I wanted to see what the difference was. So I'm going to rate it compared to this Ranger right here. And we'll see. So one is D, one is E. And one has the uh, the American version actually, I guess because of the standard tires has a better zero to sixty, but the European version has a bit better handling. So I have a f I, you saw from the last video I have a few four wheel drives already. I'm trying to keep at least five of them in the garage. So I'm just I decided all right I'll use that one for for fusion and not get it kind of um, you know mixed up in the melee I, I don't have space you can see already i'm running out of slots here and two cars holding so um you know it's very tight i i, I love the gameplay guys it's just man it, it gives me a headache you know having to destroy these cars and the, the money doesn't come so quick as far as you know messing around with cars so check this bmw out this is max setup here three 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 two three one that's max for this bmw here that's as fast as it's gonna get 
on the BMW, and I actually won that from uh, multiplayer lobby. Didn't get that from any of the campaigns or anything, you know. So here, yeah, so that Forrester, and I, we missed it again. But if you guys, you guys could pause the video. Basically, I'm, I'm replacing another Forrester. So there is a 2003 Forrester, and I guess the 2002, where is it? Actually, you know, it's not showing. I'm not going to do this one, so, but this one here we could look at. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to upgrade this. Yeah, we are going to fuse this one. So this Legacy, I just did the Forest to fuse the Forest, and now I'm about to fuse the Legacy, which is another Legacy. And again, better 0 to 60 goes first for me. I'll, I'll get back to what I was going to say. That's heavy, but the, like I said, the other one has better handling at 72 compared to 60, so that's why I did it that way. So I'm um, here. I got two, a new Forester and a new Legacy, which actually apparently outperforms. So this is a, we didn't even check. Actually, it looks like it's an older one, 98 compared to 2002, but apparently it outperforms the other one. So those are two cars I have in my four-wheel drive lineup. So I'm going to try to upgrade these as much as possible to get them to outperform the other one. And then um, I'll get rid of the others you know, for cash. I'll sell them for cash and to make space in the garage. So here we are going to, going to pass it. I think we're going to, yeah, there goes my other blue Forester, which right now has better stats. Did it? Oh, I'm moving so fast. I'm going to have to remember to um, check that out for another video. And um, yeah, as far as comparing those, because I'm going to use those. Um, so that's pretty much that. Uh, for the next upcoming video, I was just giving you a garage door. Next upcoming video we're gonna go ahead and crush the germans you know so i'm um, just gonna show you what that stage is i was about to exit the game but i uh, decided to go back and show you the stage we're gonna do next so we're gonna crush the germans we have enough four-wheel drives at the, at the moment right now to crush the germans in bavaria and um we're gonna do that next next race we're gonna crush the germ get three stars on the diesel power and on the this is a true test of your engine uh, we're going to do that next all right so that's the pretty much the end of the video thanks guys for joining me i love you guys so please like and subscribe bye bye